Hey there everybody, this is Andrew Roboto 2021 here and welcome back to Five Nights at Nintendo Land Recoded where we will be taking on Knights 3 and 4 in this video So without further ado, we'll take on Knights 3 and 4, let's see what it's for Tim, if you see them on the right side, hide in the shed Yeah, I know what they're talking about, it's Luigi It's Luigi Okay, why are we on night 4 and not night 3? Clearly a bug There's clearly a bug in this game. We're supposed to be in night three, but we're in night four. That's so weird. That bug wasn't even in the original Finance and Nintendo Land game or the Anniversary Edition. Why the recode? Eh. So I guess we'll just dive into night five after this. Interesting. Unless night three is backwards. Because I was told in the comments by a YouTuber that... The coding for this game is terrible. Which is why the characters are slower than usual in this type of game. Like, how did how did I jump into Night 4? That's so weird. Did I, like, do Night 3 in the previous video or something? Or did I just jump right into Night 4? It's very puzzling. I gotta look back at my video, because I gotta look back at my other video see if I did indeed do Night 3, because I don't remember f even doing Night 3 previously. Oops, Sonic. Meta Knight, and I believe we're dealing with Luigi for Night 4, because Sonic we deal with on Night 3, Luigi's Night 4, Mario's Night 5. Yeah, this is really weird. Like, how would it jump in a knife four? That's clearly got to be. That's clearly a bug. Trust me. Unless if I previously did night three in a previous video, this is clearly a bug. <laughs> Luigi. Yeah, these knights are actually slower, like, as it progresses. It's another thing I've been told. Pikachu's here. So weird how they move slower in this game. 
Like, that's so weird. Sonic's here. There you go. I just don't get it. Like, in the original game in the anniversary, they, the characters move at the normal speed, and yet the coding has to be terrible in the recode, and they make them slower. Like, I just don't get it. Up oh, here's Sonic again. We're at 5 a.m. and yet we haven't had to deal with that many people and we haven't had to deal with the characters that much. Like look at that. I'm not even using much Majora awareness. Like it's so weird. Alright, we beat Night 4 despite the fact there really wasn't much going on with this knife. Okay, so do we go backwards to Night 3 or do we just jump into Night 5? Let me find that out. Tips, keep track of him in the camera when he is close, hide until the music stops. Okay, so it jumps to Night 5. Okay, so with Mario, we have to keep track of him on the camera. Bone guy's dead, of course. So apparently I gotta track Mario on the camera when his music box is playing. And then when he's close, hide. Luigi. Sonic. There you go. Oh, we got Mario coming. Okay, so I'm listening for his music box. When it stops, we gotta hide. Sonic. 
Pikachu. Okay, wait until the music box stops, then we hide from Mario. The question is, how long does it play for? So when do we hide from Mario? That's the question. Okay, so Mario's coming closer. I see him on cam one, so I... Okay, now I understand how to deal with Mario. So, when Mario's mechanic is slightly different in, in this game than in the original and the anniversary edition. For the original and the anniversary edition for Mario, we had to wait till the music box stopped playing and then hide. But in this game, when the music box starts playing, we have to check Cam 1 because he will gradually appear. And when he fully emerges and he's close up on the camera, then we hide. Okay. So keep track of him in the camera. When he is close, hide until the music stops. Okay. So not only do we have to use um not only do we have to use Cam 3 for Sonic, but we also have to check Cam 1 for Mario when the music box starts playing. Because Mario will gradually emerge. Like right there, he starts off as a hat. Yeah, so he starts off as a hat and then he will gradually appear more and more. Okay. Okay, Mario's starting to appear, so that means... Okay, Mario's starting to move. Oh, and I gotta lock the door for Sonic, so I'll keep my eyes on Mario. Oh, Meta Knight just came, I heard him. I'm checking for Pikachu and Luigi. Now I gotta go check on Mario again. Okay, Mario's still on the table, so that's good. Looking for Pikachu and Luigi. Up, oh, Luigi. Gotta hide for him. Okay, Mario's. Okay, Mario's starting to emerge more and more, so I gotta keep my eyes on him. He's not close yet, so that's a good thing. Okay, gotta deal with Sonic. There we go. Pikachu. Luigi, is he here? Nope, okay. Haven't seen Meta Knight yet. Dealt with Sonic already. Mario, still in his normal form, okay.
Oh. Gotta go Meta Knight, now hide for Mario. There we go. Okay. The music box stopped. Good. Okay. Okay, we know Mario, so that's good. Phew. Okay. So when Mario fully emerges on the camera, we have to hide in the shed until the music box stops. Up oh, Luigi. Okay, Mario's starting off as a hat, of course. He starts off as a hat, then he gradually starts standing up, then he fully emerges. Yeah, so really you only got to use the camera to check for Mario as well as lock the door for Sonic. Oh, Meta Knight. Okay. I heard Meta Knight rustling through the, ruffling through the bushes. Knife 5 is actually not as difficult as I thought in this game, because in the other two games, Knife 5 was really hard in both the original and the anniversary. But in this game, it's actually not too hard. Only because, well, the coding's terrible, and it kind of has an effect on the game's life. Okay, Meta Knight dealt with him. I gotta check out Mario. Okay, Mario's slowly appearing. Well. Okay, double Mario, and now I just had to deal with Sonic. Up, oh, Pikachu. Gotta get back in the shed. Alright, so I got triple teamed by not only Mario, but also Sonic and Pikachu. So I just dealt with all three of them. Up, oh, Meta Knight. Go away, Meta Knight, you're annoying. Luigi. Let's see, is Mario moving? Okay, he's still, he's still in his hat form. Okay. Okay, Mario's moving now. Pikachu. Okay, I gotta deal with Sonic. Deal with Sonic, and now I'm focusing on Mario. And we beat Night 5. There we go. Okay, easier said than done is all I can say. Okay, so we have unlocked the Nightmare Mode, which is basically Night 6 in this game. Which we will, which this is actually the first finest Nintendo Land game that I ever achieved unlocking the Nightmare Mode. Because the other two games, I've never got that far. I never came close to being Night 5 because how hard it was. But in this game, it was pretty easy. Like, it wasn't buggy or anything. Like, 
It's a little buggy, but it's less buggy than, like, the other two games, that compared to the original game. But, yeah. Anyways, we will take on the Nightmare Mode, also known as Night 6, for the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate the support you have all given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell to receive all notifications of videos on there as well. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.